हेलो ऑल आई एम डॉक्टर आशीष अग्रावत वेलकम टू माय चैनल लाइव बायोकेमिस्ट्री टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द विटामिन बी नाइन इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर द वन कार्बन मेटाबॉलिज्म वन कार्बन मेटाबॉलिज्म सो इट विल अक्सेप्ट द वन कार्बन लाइक मिथाइल मिथिलीन ग्रुप मिथिनाइल ग्रुप फॉर्माइल ग्रुप और फॉर्म अमीनो ग्रुप ओके सो इट रिसीव द कार्बन फ्रॉम मेनी कंपाउंड लाइक सेरीन और ग्लाइसिन और ट्रिप्टोफेन और हिस्टीडीन ओके एंड इट विल डोनेट्स दिस कार्बन एटम टू द कंपाउंड वेर इट इज रिक्वायर्ड लाइक इन केस ऑफ ट्रांसमिथाइलेशन रिएक्शन फॉर द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ नॉरिपिनेफ्रीन फ्रॉम नॉरिपिनेफ्रीन टू इपिनेफ्रीन फॉर्मेशन ऑफ क्रिएटीन फॉर्मेशन ऑफ मेलाटोनिन सो ऑल विल रिक्वायर द कार्बन सी ए थ्री मिथाइल ग्रुप it is also important for the c2 and c8 of the purine or for the formation of dump to dtmp it requires the folic acid so everywhere it is important so histidine metabolism conversion of serine to glycine for the purine c2 and c8 ring okay it is required we will see and in the methionine metabolism also so this folic acid plays a crucial role so we see that methionine is converted to homocysteine and this homocysteine with the help of serine it is converted to cystathione and ultimately the sulfur group of methionine is transferred to cysteine that is called transsulfuration reaction and here this methionine donates its methyl group to the compound like norepinephrine to form epinephrine guanidine acetate to form the creatine or melatonin or it's only meant to choline like that and this uh, methionine can be resynthesized from the homocysteine with the help of methyl b12 which can be converted to b12 And this B12 again converted to methyl B12 with the help of methyl tetrahydrofolate. So if there is a vitamin B12 deficiency, the chance that methyl tetrahydrofolic acid will trap here, and it will lead to the folate trap. So always we have to give vitamin B12 and folic acid together. Okay. So this tetrahydrofolic acid is play important role in the sulfur containing amino acids. Then it plays an important role in the purines. Okay. So if we see that structure of purines, there is a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, right? So C two and C eight, okay? They are donated C two and C eight carbon. They are donated by the tetrahydrofolic acid, right? So this is very important in the pyrimidine synthesis from D U M P to D T M P. The methyl group here, uridine. Require the when methyl group is added. Suppose this is a structure of uracil, okay. And when methyl group is added, it is called as a thymine. So D U M P to D T M P. So this methyl group is donated. This carbon group is donated with the help of tetrahydrofolic acid. So methylene tetrahydrofolic acid will convert to tetrahydrofolic acid, and this methyl group is donated to the thymine to formation. Okay. So for the pyrimidine synthesis, like thymine. for the purine synthesis for the methionine metabolism all required the tetrahydrofolic acid so we'll see the chemistry of folic acid it is derived from the latin word folium means green leafy vegetable so it is very abundant in green leafy vegetables it is composed of the three constituents one is pteridin so pteridin when pteridin bind with the para amino benzoic acid to form the pteroic acid with this steroic acid glutamic acid polyglutamate is assay attach to form the steroin glutamic acid which is nothing but it is a folic acid now this folic acid that is form it is converted to dihydrofolic acid and then it is converted to tetrahydrofolic acid by the enzyme called dihydrofolate reductase okay so and this thfa is a active form and it requires a nadph and folate reductase enzyme so this active tetrahydrofolic acid is active form it is a contained the at the n5 so you can see pteridine group here up to this then this is a para amino benzoic acid so they form the pteroic acid pteroic acid and to this pteroic acid glutamic acid is attached mainly the polyglutamate form so it is called as a pteroyl glutamic acid pteroyl glutamic acid which is nothing but it is a folic acid so at the n5 or n10 it carries the carbon group one carbon group either methyl 
फॉर मिथिलीन फॉर मिथिनाइल और फॉर्माइल और फॉर्म अमीनो दैट इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट सो फॉर्माइल दैट इज सी एच ओ फॉर्म अमीनो मिथिनाइल मिथिलीन और मिथाइल और हाइड्रोक्सी मिथाइल दिस ग्रुप आर कैरीड बाई द टेट्रा हाइड्रोफोलिक एसिड वेन एवर दे रिक्वायर दे विल डोनेट द कार्बन ग्रुप सो इट इज यूज फॉर द सिंथेसिस ऑफ एक्टिव मिथ्योनिन वी हैव सीन इन द प्रीवियस स्लाइड्स सो फॉर द ट्रांसमिथाइलेशन रिएक्शन ऑल्सो फॉर द सिंथेसिस ऑफ इथेनोलेमाइन टू फॉलिन नॉट इपिन एफ्रीन टू इपिन एफ्रीन और वन इन एसिडी टू क्रिएट इन इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ओके यू कैन ऑल्सो रिफर टू माई वीडियो अबाउट द वन कार्बन मेटाबोलिज्म सो इट विल बी मोर क्लियर टू यू हाउ डज इट वर्क नाउ कोज ऑफ फॉलिक डेफिशंसी सो इन प्रेगनेंसी बिकॉज ऑफ द ग्रोइंग चाइल्ड द रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ फॉलिक एसिड इज इंक्रीज देन इफ देर इज अ डिफेक्टिव एब्सॉप्शन लाइक स्प्रू और सिलियाक डिजीज और ब्रुटेन इंड्यूस एंडोरोपैथी रिसेक्शन ऑफ जेजूनियम ऑल दिस विल इट डिफेक्टिव एब्सॉप्शन ऑफ फॉलिक एसिड दिस फॉलिक एसिड इज एब्सॉर्ब एट द जेजूनम राइट then such certain drugs in the diet polysins are mainly in the polyglutamate form so here some drugs like anti convulsion okay hydantoin dilantin phenytoin or phenobarbitone they will inhibit the intestinal enzyme so folate absorption is reduced okay so gastrointestinal enzyme in the gut remove the glutamate residue and only the monoglutamate form of folic acid is absorbed okay in diet it is polyglutamate form which is converted to monoglutamate which is absorbed so here this conversion is inhibited by the drug and it will lead to folic acid deficiency then when there is a breakdown down of hemolytic anemia where more and more rbc are broken down then the folic acid requirement will be increased or dietary deficiency absence of vegetable in the food will lead to the uh, folic deficiency or folate trap we have seen in case of vitamin b12 deficiency there will be folate trap so folic acid what we have seen so far there is a pteridine group with the para amino benzoic acid it will form the pteroyl glutamic pteroyl pteroic acid pteroic acid the pteroic acid bind with the glutamate to form the pteroyl glutamic acid or pteroyl glutamate which is called as a folic acid then it is dihydrofolate reductase enzyme and nadph it is converted to dihydrofolic acid ultimately converted to tetrahydrofolic acid which is a active donor at the n5 and n10 it will carry the one carbon substance right then deficiency can occur because of the increased demand in case of pregnancy or hemolytic anemia or there is a chance there is a malabsorption okay <coughs> or drug like phenytoin anti convulsion drug okay that will defective absorption or poor conversion of polyglutamate to monoglutamate is deficient so all this will cause the folic acid deficiency or folate trap right so we can see here this methionine is converted to homocysteine homocysteine Uh, they remove the homocysteine group okay so methionine is converted to acetonitrile methionine activation occur then methyl group is donated to the acceptor what are the acceptor norepinephrine or ethanolamine or acetyl serotonin or guanidine acetate what are the methylated product where they get the methyl group it is converted to if norepinephrine is converted to epinephrine ethanolamine is converted to choline acetyl serotonin is converted to melatonin and guanidine acetate is converted to creatine then this homocysteine adenosine group is removed and it will form homocysteine again it is converted to <coughs> methionine by the vitamin b12 and this methyl b12 okay methyl b12 is converted to b12 and b12 again converted to methyl b12 with the help of methyl tetrahydrofolic acid so if there is a vitamin b12 is deficient then this will be freeze okay you can see again in the diagram here like this okay so like serine or glycine tryptophan okay they will form the formate okay formate tetrahydrofolic acid which can be donated to the c2 ring or the initiation of translation in prokaryotes like formyl methionine okay serine will form the methylene tetrahydrofolic acid 
which can be reduced to methyl tetrahydrofolic acid and they will helpful in the transmethylation reaction for the formation of creatine choline okay creatine choline formation of melatonin formation of melatonin like that or epinephrine okay and this methyl chem group can be also donated from the choline okay so this is how or histidine metabolism also will form the form amino tetrahydrofolic acid so this is a one carbon metabolism so what will be the deficiency manifestation of uh, folic acid deficiency there will be reduced dna synthesis we have seen that uh, folic acid is important for the pyrimidine synthesis for the pyrimidine synthesis dump to dtmp or in the purine ring c2 and c8 ring so what will happen if there is a folic acid deficiency then this ump is not converted to tmp so dna synthesis is stopped so and uh, purine is also not available so replication will not occur okay so conversion of g2 phase to m phase okay will not occur so nucleus is not uh, formed but cell will continue to divide okay so nucleus is less and cell will synthesis occur so it is said as a megaloblast right <clears throat> so there is macrocytic the rbc becomes macrocytes so dna is affected there will be macrocytosis because during erythropoiesis dna synthesis is delayed but protein synthesis continue okay the machinery will form the so rbc precursor will be formed so there is a asynchrony or dissociation between the maturity of nucleus and cytoplasm cytoplasm continuously growing proteins are synthesized so it is a immature looking nucleus and mature eosinophilic cytoplasm so that is a macrocytic anemia there will be reticulocytosis occur Uh, hemolysis lead to reduction in the lifespan of the rbc and wbc and thrombocytopenia okay decrease wbc count then homocysteine anemia we have seen that homocysteine is converted to methionine is converted to homocysteine homocysteine converted back to the methionine by the help of vitamin b12 and folic acid if folic acid is deficiency then homocysteine level will increase so if there is a homocysteine level is more than 15 micro mole per liter it is a risk factor for coronary artery disease because increased level of homocysteine it will affect the copper ion copper ion is required for the lysyl oxidase ultimately capillaries are affected okay and homocysteine will also increase adherence of the platelets and it will lead to the clot formation okay and capillary endothelium dysfunction occur ultimately atherosclerosis and risk factor okay as we know folic acid is also required for the growth so ultimately uh, every mother every pregnant woman every pregnant woman should be given folic acid okay in the pregnancy early in the pregnancy because deficiency will lead to the birth defect okay like spina bifida we will see the picture and it is called as a neural tube defect so folic acid deficiency so there may be chance of anencephaly there is a chance of encephalosin okay so complete absence of head or encephalosis protrusion of the brain then this is a spina bifida right so these are all the and folic acid has a role in prevention of the cancer now what is the daily requirement around 400 microgram for the adult for pregnancy the requirement is increase around 600 microgram and breastfeeding also increase requirement up to 500 microgram okay so this is all about the folic acid okay so we have seen the function for the purine synthesis for the pyrimidine synthesis for the sulfur containing amino acid methionine metabolism okay for the histidine metabolism one carbon metabolism folic acid is important okay if folic acid deficiency in case of vitamin b12 deficiency there is a chance of methyl tetrahydro folic acid will be trap it is called as a folate trap okay and paba there is a drug like sulfonamide this sulfonamide they are analog to the paba and what is paba this steri steri group plus paba which form the teroic acid which bind with the glutamate to form folic acid if the folic paba analogs like sulfonamide is given then there is a the folic acid will not be synthesized so bacteria will die so this is how this sulfonamide can be useful so drug like trimethoprim okay so they are they will inhibit the dihydrofolate reductase enzyme in prokaryotes in parasites like malaria 
pyrimethamine. Okay, this drug will inhibit dihydrofolic reductase. Or drug like methotrexate, they will inhibit mammalian dihydrofolic acid. Okay, so ultimately they will prevent folic acid active form. Okay, folic acid is converted to dihydrofolic acid and then tetrahydrofolic acid. So here this enzyme is dihydrofolic reductase. So if we inhibit this, this tetrahydrofolic acid is not there and ultimately the DNA synthesis or cell division will not occur. So it can be used as a anti-cancer methotrexate or uh, parasite uh, growth prevention by the pyrimethamine like malaria or trimisoprim can be used for the prokaryotes. Okay, this is how uh, the clinical importance of folic acid and if there is a deficiency, deficiency can occur in pregnancy because of increased requirement or in case of hemolytic anemia or in case of uh, drug okay <coughs> or there is a malabsorption or there will be folate trap all will lead to the folic acid deficiency so what are the deficiency manifestation there will be decreased dna synthesis there will be macrocytic anemia there will be macrocytic anemia there will be neural tube defects spina bifida so every pregnant woman should be given folic acid okay and there will be increased homocysteine level okay so all are the feature of folic acid return daily requirement is around 400 microgram in pregnancy it is around 600 to 500 microgram so this is all about the folic acid in next video i will discuss about the vitamin b12 that is cobalamine so i hope you like this video if you like this video please hit the like button share my video subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get the notification for my future video thank you very much for watching bye